Hello everyone. A YouTuber by the name of Jprim made a video some time ago discussing the number of combinations that could be possible on a 3x3x3 Rubik's Cube. At the end of the video, he challenged us to find out the number of combinations on a 2x2x2 Rubik's Cube, right here. So this is just a video response. So, the first thing we can do is we can say that since there are eight corners or eight, just eight pieces total on this two by two by two Rubik's cube, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we can say that any of these permutations of these eight corners are viable. Therefore, we can say that there are eight factorial different permutations of these eight corners. That means this corner can be over here, 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 or here. Same with all the rest of the corners. We use factorials to dictate those permutations. Next, we want to realize that not only can these corners be anywhere, they can be twisted in a certain way. So for seven of these corners, there are three ways it can be twisted. So let's say, let's uh, look at this one. This is a white, green, and red corner. It can be like this, or it can be green on top, white on the red, uh, on the right, sorry, red in the front, or it can even be red on the top, green on the right, white in the front. There are three ways all of these corners can be, except for one. Now I'll say, now I'll explain why. Once you have seven of these corners oriented and permutated in the right way, or actually just oriented in the right way, I'm sorry. Once you have all these corners oriented in the right way, if you have this corner like this, then the two by two by two Rubik's cube is officially unsolvable. This last corner has to be in a certain orientation in order for it to be unsolved, in order for it to be solvable. So even if it was like this, it would be unsolvable. Only when it's like this, when it's in the correct orientation, is this cube solvable. Therefore, we can say that all of the corners, except for one, has the choice of being in three different orientations. So we multiply this eight factorial by three to the power of seven. So there's one last step here. For all odd powered cubes, such as this three by three by three, notice how there's always a center. As you can see right here. These centers dictate the space in which the orientation must be. In other words, all the green corners and edges have to revolve around the green center. Same for the white, the yellow, the red, the orange, and the blue sides. However, for even powered cubes, such as the 2x2x2, two by two by two, notice how there are no colored centers at all. That means that it can be oriented and solved in any direction in space. There's no set definition for the orientation. Therefore, we are overcounting with just an eight factorial times three to the power of seven expression. We have to divide by a certain number and we have eight times three. Now let me tell you why. Think of it like this. Uh, let's take a corner over here. This corner can be in the back over here. It can also be solved in the back left. It can also be solved over here. It can also be solved over here. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that it can be solved over here, 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 or here, in any of the eight places. And it can be solved in any orientation. Therefore, it can be solved in any eight times three ways. So it can be solved like this, like this, like this, Basically, in any way you orient in, sorry, not orient it, rotate it, it should be solvable or deemed solvable in this matter. So we say it can be solvable. So that we can say the first corner can be solved in any of the eight spaces and any of the three rotations. And we divide by that. We divide by eight times three, 24. Therefore, taking out all the extra cases where Basically, this and this were considered different cases just because of the uh, rotation. So, this expression right here equates to 3,674,160. So, this is a number 
right here. This is the number of combinations. 3,674,160. And there you have it. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Special thanks to JPerm for uh, thinking of this question. And yeah, see ya.